like that's how anybody feels getting woken up at three o'clock in the morning. I know. I know. Good morning, friends. Adam has left for a couple days. <laughs> upset most of the way he only stopped crying if i held his sweet little hand so i tried to put my hand on his head he moved it so i held his hand until he fell asleep thank god uh, he's out <coughs> we all have a cold it's not anything more than a cold went to urgent care and got tested so we're good there thank god um it's a beautiful view of my face so we're gonna go back inside we are gonna hit the bed get some more sleep before we start our day. It is 4.17 in the morning. And I'm hoping to sleep until like eight. Usually we're up by seven. But yeah, I'm hoping to sleep till about eight. So let's go get this little man. Sleep. I didn't even shut the sound machine this morning, so it's why is this so close and personal? So yeah, we're going back to bed. Say good night, friends. See you in a little while. You guys ready for this? He was invited to Washington DC, like Capitol Hill, to have, I was gonna say a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's not a one-on-one, -on -one. it's a round table with people who have been released from federal prison within the past two years and are living successfully with the, wait for it, new director of the Federal Bureau of Prison. So this is enormous, it's huge. We woke up in the middle of the night, 3.22 in the morning to be exact. I hopped up, brushed my teeth, threw on a sweatshirt and some Ugg boots, got CJ in his little seat, poor thing, cried the whole entire time on the way to the airport. He was so confused. Like, why are you waking me up in the middle of the night? I'm like, hmm, payback, you know what they say about that? You've been waking me up your whole entire life. Many times a night, I'm just kidding. I would do it 10 times over for my little man. So while he's gone, I figured we would do a vlog. I have so much I have to get done and he's only gone. So today's Sunday, left in the middle of the night Sunday. He will be gone all day Monday because the session doesn't start until three o'clock or four o'clock. I don't know, late in the afternoon DC time. So by the time he was trying to get back that day, get on a flight that evening, but there were no flights. So he was thinking he wouldn't even be leaving leaving Capitol Hill for two hours till at least six. There were no flights after that to come back here. So he's leaving in the morning. He'll be back Tuesday afternoon, about four o'clock hour time. So it's a lot of travel. Like he's gone for three days and traveling for two of them. Crazy, right? When you fly coast to coast, but that's awesome because he got this, the opportunity to do this. So in the meantime, I'm trying to cram a whole bunch of stuff in, partly to waste time. You guys know this when you're a prison wife, like between visits or in a long distance relationship. And I am so grateful I'm not anymore. We just FaceTimed with him and I was like, why is this so hard? Like CJ was waving at him and smiling and blowing kisses. Yes, you. And I started to cry and I'm like, you know what? We did all of our time apart. 11 years we did all that that i'm allowed to be sad when he's gone and we're apart because we like front loaded all of the times that we're going to be apart and my heart is eternally with 
all of the prison lives, family members, and people in long distance relationships who aren't with their loved ones. I actually saw a picture yesterday, my friend, Stacy, down south, and it was a family picture in a visit room, and I literally wept because it brought me back to when those were the days that I lived for and longed for where I am now, and it, I didn't have CJ at the time. I had no children. I didn't have that, but like my heart always broke for those children in the visit room and it was Thanksgiving and they were in the visit room together and it was their picture and it just brought me back to like all the anxiety, getting to visit, during visit, the processing system, the processing system, no, the processing, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my God, I think I blocked it all. The whole processing part of it, I'm with you guys. But anyway, let's go, go positive. We share a car right now. I don't get the car very frequently. So I'm figuring I'm gonna go buy stuff for Christmas. We're just doing kind of stocking stuffer stuff between me, Adam and CJ. And then I have to get a couple things for family members. I have to do that. I have to go to our PO box to pick up a package that I have to make a video about. I'm gonna take you guys on that with me. I have to, I have like literally a list in my phone. I have to clean the house. Cause I, you know, when you're away and then you come home and the house is like spotless, it's so much better than coming home to a toddler looking house. So I'm gonna do that. I was thinking about dyeing my roots, you know, like just all stuff that you could check off, like boom, 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 boom. But I might wait for Adam to get the back of my hair. We're just gonna do like a fun, easy evening, like a relaxing Sunday afternoon. Cause I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I was off all of last week, we were sick. I might watch my unorthodox life. I might order in probably not i don't know it's just me and cj and like you know we eat different foods so probably just real light because i usually save cooking extravagantly for my man family dinner you know so we'll see but either way right now i'm gonna hit coals and then i'm waiting for the post office to open i'm gonna hit the post office come home we'll do an unboxing i've always loved vlogs okay i've rambled so we will be back cj say bye 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 see you guys in a little bit Say love you guys. Christmas gifts slash stocking stuffers. I got this really cute sweatshirt for CJ. It's a, it's a three T. I need some hooded sweatshirts because I don't have a winter jacket for him. I have a puffy vest, which is adorable. So I've been putting his one and only hoodie underneath it and it's nice and thick. So I found another one there, but they only had a three T. So we're gonna, and it was like $7. So we're gonna try it on. There's another Kohl's down the street. If that one's like a maxi dress on him, then I'll see if I can exchange it. But I did that. I got some stocking stuffers for Adam, stocking stuffers for myself. They're all socks, clean socks. So I think I'm in the stocking. They were buy one package, get one 50% off. I'll show you guys what I got, but I have like a couple things on clearance for myself. Whoa. That green velour jumpsuit was absolutely drop dead gorgeous. The colors weren't transpiring on camera, so I'll put pictures in things that I got. Like the green dress looked muted. It's actually like a very bright neon green, and I see it with, oh my god, knee high snakeskin boots. It sounds crazy, but to die. I could wear the pink dress with that as well. But that green velour jumpsuit was a, it was like an emerald green velour. And I saw it with like those patent Jimmy Choo red pumps with like the high heel. Couldn't find a tag on it. So the lady looks at me, she's like, whoa. It was $300 on clearance for 97. And I was like, um, that's gonna be a no for me dog. <laughs> it was beautiful for no more than 50. And that still would have been a stretch. So put that one back, but maybe it'll go like on clearance, on clearance, on clearance, because I honestly, no offense to Kohl's, I get so much stuff there, but I can't imagine anyone going in spending $300 on a jumpsuit or $100 on something that's marked down on clearance. Maybe, but not me. And I don't think most people that go to Kohl's are looking for that. 
you know? Anyway, so we're going to get a package of stuff that I got to do a collaboration with. I am so excited to create these outfits for you. Then we're gonna head home. I want coffee, but I just saw a really good, clean hot chocolate recipe that I wanna try from Instagram. It's better than spending $8 on a cup of coffee because Adam and I are really trying to save, like we're stretch tight. So we're gonna do that. Another thought really quick. It's so different when you have a baby. And I know this for my nieces and my nephews, but they were like more time, you know? So when you have a baby full time, like I used to do 75 miles. Take exit 80 on the bar. I used to do 75,000 errands in one day. You're just like in and out, in and out. But now like just to go pick up a package at the post office, I have to get him out of his car seat. It's I don't care, like it's I wouldn't change it for the world, but things just take a little bit longer. Just like something to process and think about. We didn't make it in time yesterday. I wish we did. Because if Adam and I went, I could just hop out of the car really quick and back in and I'd be out of the car for max two minutes and it might take me seven to 10. It's mom life, it's cool. Say hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. Just thoughts because this is my vlog. Love you guys. Mwah. Christian, you ready to go get the mail? Yeah? Are you ready? When we were in there, the guy goes, what are you feeding that kid? He's huge. I was like, I know, right? He takes after his dad. And then he started to wave and I was like, say hi. And CJ gets shy at first. He goes, it's no worries. And I was like, let me show you him walking. What's cute is I think they found our YouTube channel here because things come to strong prison lines. They treat us like we're celebrities. It's adorable. Anyway, we are heading home, I think. I think I'm gonna check my list, but I'm pretty sure because poor baby is so thirsty. Then we'll do the unboxing, all of that stuff. Love you guys. finish i completely forgot to finish my christmas cards with cj's photo on them so let's do a shout out this is so not even close to sponsored it's just a company that i used had an issue with complained to customer service and not even like a jerk just was like listen i paid rush shipping and i got my cards two weeks after christmas so I sent my cards for New Year's. They made it right. They sent me a free batch of cards. They overnighted them. And then they sent me this $20 voucher and they have 40% off. This is gonna be good because I wanted to do front back and I can't, I just can't afford that this year. So hopefully if I just do his photo on the front with a nice little message, it won't be too expensive. And then next year we'll be in a better position. So that's what we're gonna do right now while we eat. This by the way came out incredible i did the extra dairy free yogurt with chia seeds that christian didn't want i mixed it with some natural almond butter and i just put it on top of the apples it's apples cranberries raisins and i put a couple dates on there just because i know people think i'm crazy but i love them and that's it just a little bit of cinnamon cinnamon olive oil you guys saw me make it but cinnamon olive oil stevia and i sprinkled it with some gluten-free oats so well. Okay, we're back in the car. I wasted so much freaking time. I'm so mad making a video for a company that I think scammed. Not that they scammed me, but they're awful. I'm going to tell you guys the whole video the whole video no i'm gonna tell you guys the whole story in a video and i don't care like i'm gonna block this company i don't care that they get mad at me they sent me stuff for free it's honestly going in the garbage i'm not even giving it to anybody i'll tell you the whole story in another video but i'm kind of mad because i wasted a lot of time doing this but that's okay i got christian's christmas cards done i got them for i got 100 cards for 50 dollars, i think but i'm kind of sad because i did his cute like real christmas picture on the front and on the back i wanted to say put his boss baby picture from Halloween. I'll put it up here. And I wanted to write, you know, like Merry Christmas on the front. We hope your new year isn't filled with risky business, dot, 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 unless you, of course you want it to be. But that added another $60 onto these cards. And like, 
I don't, I can't. So I'm toying with printing them out for like 11 cents a print at uh, Walgreens, especially if they run a, set, a special, you can get them for like seven or nine cents a print, you know, for special people. You okay, baby? Maybe do like 30 of those and then write it on there and send it in the same envelope, might do that. I did not get the envelopes printed on return address or regular address. I will do those on labels. I have labels left over from last year. I have ink or I'll write it on there. No big deal, but I didn't want to spend the extra 30 for address and then 30 for return, return address. No thanks. I have three stops that I'm not sure if I'm gonna make them all, but I'm gonna try. So first of all, I have to go back to Kohl's because I bought Christian a pair of jeans. I think I told you guys, they were actually girls because they were super skinny, but they are enormous on him. Oh, I think I showed you. They, they look terrible. So those have to go back. Number two, I want to go to Sprouts and get a bag of protein powder. So I want to go back to protein shakes for lunch. Problem is the protein we have causes the worst stomach issues for me. I've tried it so many different ways, tried so many different things. It's the protein powder. So I'm trying to get this all natural one from Sprouts, depending on the cost of it there. The last place I wanna go is Walmart, but I might save that for tomorrow because tomorrow's another day and I still have the car, but I need to get universal remotes. I'm also gonna check on Amazon and price them because if I can get them from Amazon Prime by tomorrow, that's the same thing because Christian loves playing with the remote. He loves pressing the button. So I want to get him a toy, but give him the remote, the extra remote without batteries. We have three different remotes. I tried to give him the fire stick without batteries and he knew it. Plus I just left the house with the TV on because I can't find what he did with the remote. And I was searching and then finally I'm like, it's getting dark. I gotta go. So if I have spare remotes and spare batteries, I don't think that'll be the problem. We have a Roku TV, so I'll just get spare Rokus. And I think you can get two for under $10. So I'm thinking about that. I'm gonna go, it's getting dark and I need to go make this other video. Mwah. It's getting dark and I did not film in there, but I'll film leaving. I'm just pulling out of the vitamin shop. Went there instead of Sprouts because um, they had the same protein. Now it's time to figure out what I want for dinner. So I will be back. What you eating? What are you eating? Did you get grilled cheese in there? Yeah, so yummy. Ready to go home? Let's go. Okay, friends, we went to Whole Foods. We got dinner and they just so happened to be giving out samples, cut in quarters of sandwiches that were all organic grilled cheese with two different kinds of bread. One was, what was it? It was, one was like their multi-green and the other one was around the crust. They had everything bagel. Mm -hmm. So, and the sandwiches were cut in quarters. So I grabbed two, the everything and the multi-green and I fed them to CJ. Cause I'm like, Ooh, part of dinner. Cause he loves toast with butter. He loves grilled cheese, all that stuff. So he ate one quarter in the store. He's going to eat the other quarter when we get home. And then we are also going to share my dinner, which was ridiculously expensive. I do this to myself all the time when they have like the hot food bars and the cold salad bars. And like I load up my plate and then they weigh it and it's like ridiculous. So, and it's gonna be stuff that I'm not even gonna wanna eat all of it because I could smell the butter coming off of there and that's not typically how I eat. But it was grilled chicken, collard greens with bacon, mac and cheese. I took like two pieces of macaroni just so I could try it. Green beans, there was mashed potatoes, which I didn't take and oh, fried, um, no, like the plantains that they make sweet. Oh my God. It's $11.99 for a plate, but mine costs 20 something because the amount of food that your girl loaded on the plate. So we're gonna go home and eat and watch My Unorthodox Life season two on Netflix. I cannot wait. Yeah, then we're gonna say goodnight because this is a long vlog, but I am exhausted. I didn't make it back to Walmart. I will do that another day. It's not an emergency. Um, and I could probably still get what I'm looking for on Amazon. FaceTimed Adam in Whole Food. FaceTimed Adam? FaceTimed? FaceTimed. Yeah, Adam while we were in Whole Foods and I told him he's on the, the East Coast. So it's three hours later there, six o'clock here. Although to me, it feels like it's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, probably because I crammed so much into today. Oh, and I did get up at 3.30 in the morning to take him to the airport, but we did sleep again until seven, uh, but probably still not enough sleep. So we're gonna FaceTime him again when we get home and we're eating dinner and then we're gonna call it a night. I need to put the baby to sleep, take a shower and then get up and get ready for work in the morning because I haven't been there in over a week. I'm gonna tell you guys this too. I just thought of it. Another thing I'm gonna do while I'm, I just pulled my hair up working crazy, but he's still awake, I'm eating dinner. We just finished FaceTiming Adam. I found the remote on top of the blender where I hid it from the baby. Sure. 
But I keep all of my receipts in my wallet like a mess because I don't think I've told you guys about this before and I'm just doing it as a friend. I'm not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. I might maybe have a referral code. Like everybody gets a referral code if you refer a friend. So if I do, I'll put it down below because I think it'll get you points or something. But I use an app called Fetch. If you've never heard of it before, I'm probably the last one on board. And you could probably, if you have more of like a standard American diet than I do, get more than I get. So what you do is download the app Fetch to your phone. I believe it's Android and Apple available for both because I have an Apple. My friend Kat who told me about it has an Android. And you save your receipts. So you have your receipt and you take a picture through the app. It'll tell you just like hit the scan button. You can connect your credit card and your debit card if you want. So you can do online shopping too. I don't know why it's not working for me. I just haven't done it right, but I should probably do that because I do so much online shopping. Then what they do is each receipt is a certain amount of points. I'm guessing depending on what you spend, who you spend it with. And then you get a certain amount of points, you get gift cards and you get like free things. So I think the way that they make their money is that companies will sponsor them. So the reason I said like, if you have more of a standard American diet, like one time when I was sick, we got saltines and I got more points for those saltines. And like, if you have like Nestle or Pepsi and that kind of stuff on your receipt, then those companies partner with the app and you'll get more points and you'll get either gift cards or money off. Again, not sponsored, just something I'm gonna sit here and do because I went to go pay for something before and like this fell out of my wallet. Now, one thing to note is you only have two weeks to upload your receipts. So sometimes I just have them sitting in there for so long I get, don't get a chance to upload them, which is kind of silly. Like I should just get in the car and take a, it's like so simple. You just take a quick snapshot of it, but you know, life then that doesn't work but that's really not the biggest of deal so i'm gonna go upload some receipts on fetch i have to do it from my phone and i'm filming from my phone today so i can't get it on video but just an fyi i'll put the link to it in the description box below and what is the need to get involved right now what is the urgency we realize that as a husband as this at all not even remotely because nothing changes i think it makes total sense it's a mature way hi Okay, you gonna help mama with the pillows? Ready? <laughs> Should we do the other pillow? <laughs> it's Vinny. So, oh, that flash is so bright and I have um, oil on my face because my nose and my lip are so dry and they're starting to get chapped from blowing my nose so much. But anyway, I just needed to end the vlog. I had a fun day, you know, because I had it filled with vlogging for you guys and running errands and Christian and I had a really good time. He was in a great mood all day. He was fun today. Even he fell asleep before and I put him down and I went to go walk out of the room and he woke up laughing. I mean, he was asleep because he was asleep on me for a little while before I got up and brought him into the room. So I know he was up, but he got up, started laughing and got out of bed. Normally he'd be screaming, crying. So he was in a really good mood today. It's just so sad to go to sleep without Adam. I mean, it's fine. It's one night. It's not that big of a deal. Two sleeps without him. But it just brings me back to all those times I had to sleep alone. My thoughts are with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. As much work as they are, it's a different kind of work. And I think vlogs are my favorite type of videos to make for you guys. My eye, The reason I have my eyes shut is because I feel like I got punched in the eyes. I think I'm just tired. The chemicals from that stuff before. And then also whatever I'm fighting. So I love you guys.